hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here this follows when we have a times a this can be written as a square but this same thing multiplying we have 6 is to power x or square equals to 60 on this side the next step here this follows when we have a raised to power m or raised to power n this same thing as a raised to power m n. That is, this power multiplies, and we have 6 raised to power 2x equals to 60 on this side. That is, next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 6 raised to power 2x equals to log 60 from here. Then here we apply the power law of logarithm when we have log m raised to power p. This is the same thing as p log m. That is, here this becomes 2x log 6 equals to log 60 from here. Then we divide both sides by log 6. Divide this side by log 6. Also, divide this side by log 6. That is here, log 6 cancelled each other. And we have 2x equals to log 60 over log 6. Then, from what we have here, we can express 60 as 6 times 10. That is, yeah, this becomes 2x equals to log 6 times 10 over log 6. That is, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have becomes 2x equals to log 6 plus log 10 over log 6. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions. That is, we have 2x equals to log 6 over log 6 plus log 10 over log 6. Then, next step here, log 6 cancelled each other. We have 1 left, which implies 2x equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 6. Then, from what we have here, we can write 10 as 2 times 5. Then what we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 6. Then this also follows the law of logarithm. And this becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 all over log 6. At this here, we separate this into two fractions and we have 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 6 plus log 5 over log 6. Then, Next step here, we apply change of base. That is, when we have log a over log b, it is the same thing as log a to base b. That is, here, this becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 6 plus log 5 base 6. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up, put your comment, share this video, and subscribe. Then here we divide both sides by 2. That is, divide this side by 2. Also, divide this side by 2. 
which implies here yeah, two cancel with each other. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 with 6 plus log 5 with 6 all over 2. That is the value of x here. We have 1 plus log 2 with 6 plus log 5 with 6 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 6 plus log 5 base 6 all over 2. Then, what we have here becomes 6 raised to power 1 plus log 2 b 6 plus log 5 b 6 all over 2 is this equals to 60 on this side. Okay. From here, sorry, this is twice here. We have times also 6 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 6 plus log 5 base 6 just as we have it in the equation here then is it equals to 60 on this side then from here we have same base multiplying when we have a raised to power m times a raised to power also same power m is same thing as a raised to power m plus m which is 2m then this becomes 6 raised to power 2 times 1 plus log 2 is 6 plus log 5 is 6 all over 2. Then is it equals to 60 on this side? Then here we have this power multiplies 2 here cancelled each other and we have 6 raised to power 1 plus log 2 is 6 plus log 5 is 6 is this equals to 60 on this side then we apply the log in this is when we have a raised to power m plus n this is same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n but this here we have 6 raised to power 1 times 6 raised to power log 2 be 6 times 6 raised to the power log 5 is 6. Is it equals to 60 on this side? And 6 raised to the power 1, that's 6 times. This follows when we have a raised to the power log b, which is a, which is equals to b. That is the same thing as 2 times. Here, we have 5. Is it equals to 60 on this side? And 6 times 2 here, we have 12. Then 12 times 5, that's 60, which is equals to 60 on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 6 plus log 5 base 6 or over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos, turn the notification bell, share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.